Hi guys. Um, today is Monday and I'm going to the grocery store right now. I actually got ready, which is a surprise. Normally before the grocery store, I don't really care. I just sometimes fix myself up a little bit, but I got ready today. This is my hair from yesterday though, but I'm on my way to the grocery store right now. Dan's off on Mondays, so it should be a good day. We're gonna have um, just a good day to, together today, hopefully. So I thought I would film today. So I'm gonna go in the grocery store here soon, and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So I just got back from the grocery store and I thought I'd show you guys everything that I got. I got a bunch of organic broccoli and then I got this kale and spinach kit that we always buy. And then I love these drinks right here, these buy drinks. They're really good. And um, I like having those, they're way better than pop. And these are the eggs that we use, these pasture raised eggs. And then I got asparagus, some green beans, some avocados for salads, and then organic blueberries, some lemons, and bananas. Got some paper towels. These are the noodles that we like to use. They're super good. This is the best brown rice noodles that I've ever had. And then this sometimes that I get for the kids, and then some Tomato sauce, this is what we use for our spaghetti. And then I got the kids some pouches. They're still um, loving having pouches for like a snack every now and then. And then these are the soups that I get sometimes. This um, chicken noodle by Wolfgang Puck, it's organic. And then this Southwest vegetable one, I've had that before and I like it. Cholula for Dan. And then these are some of the this is the brand of chips that we normally buy and the Himalayan salt one with the avocado oil is our favorite and then these are for the kids these veggie sticks normally i don't buy these snack bars but i decided to try these for the kids this time um they love sesame street and these just looked good they're organic too and then this is the bread we normally buy the dave's killer bread and then these are the tortillas that we love to use. These are amazing. I highly recommend these tortillas. They taste so good. And there's only five ingredients in this. There's no preservatives and it's organic. I get these sausages for me and the kids. Dan has them every now and then. And then these um, waffles. I love these and so, do this, so does the kids. And I decided to pick up these sweet potato fries. They're non-GMO and they have salt and pepper on them. They're really good, we've had these before. And then for dinner one night, we're gonna have some um, wild-caught cod and then some wild-caught salmon and there's California garlic seasoning on it. And then this is the ground beef that we always buy. I'm gonna make um, spaghetti with this. And then this is the chicken that we normally buy too. It's organic and free range. And I just normally put this in the oven with some seasonings on it. And then I just had to get some paper plates. So that's everything that I picked up this time at the grocery store. So Dan and I are gonna be going on a date later. So I'm making us all a good lunch um, so I can feed the kids before I bring them over to my parents. And um, right now I'm putting the salads together and I'm just gonna make some spaghetti. Um, the kids are both napping right now, but they're just going to eat when they wake up. And then I'm going to drop them off over there. And we're planning on going to see a movie tonight. So we dropped the kids off at my parents' house. And we went to a few stores to look for some stuff for the kids' Easter baskets. We did find a few things for each of them that we were happy with. So that's good. We got that accomplished. Um... I'm still thinking there's a few more things I'd like to put in there. I'll probably show you guys what I end up putting all in their Easter basket maybe in the next one because um, we still are going to look at 
one more place sometime soon. Right now, we're headed to the movie theater. We're gonna go see a movie. It's so nice out today. It's just beautiful. It's in the 70s. It's 70 what? Like 73. 73. So this feels awesome. This is the nicest day that we've had. I've got shorts on So today. far. Yeah, Dan's actually in shorts. I have sandals on, so it just feels amazing. So today's a new day. When we ended up getting out of the movie, it was dark and I didn't end up um, ending it or anything. So I just figured I'd talk to you guys right now. I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment. So the movie that we ended up seeing was called Unplanned, which was basically about um, Abby Johnson, her name is, her life. She's the one who wrote the book that turned into the movie and it's just talking about her life and everything and um, it's kind of hard to watch there's a few scenes in there that made me sick to my stomach and everything but it really does show the truth of what goes on and everything and so that is what we saw and then we just picked up the kids but um, I'm gonna let you guys know how my doctor's appointment goes and I'll talk to you guys um, after. So I just got out of my appointment, everything went well with that. I will give you guys more details about everything in my next pregnancy update because I'm gonna have an ultrasound done before then too. So, um, but for now, what um, was said was that the twins are not um, head down, so she's just talking about scheduling a C-section and that it can be canceled at any time if they do end up flipping, even up to the day of. We can still cancel it if they are um, head down, but for now they're not, so we're just talking about what day that um, I'd be having the C-section and she's allowing me to go 38 weeks so well as of now so that's around the time that the c-section would be and also um, my iron was really low which was not good so i have to up my iron to three times a day and if that doesn't help soon i'm gonna have to see hematology i guess to get like iron transfusions or something so um, that's one thing and then what else was said oh my glucose test I passed it everything was good with that so I'm very thankful for that so any other details on the pregnancy I will um, let you guys know on my next pregnancy update but that's all for today's video. I just wanted to say thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.